There we go. Our series on how to use everyday items for survival or SHTF situations, you know, it just continues. And there's so many different things that you can use that are just everyday items. And one of the things that you're doing is you're learning how to improvise. That is really important. Of course, that's taught and has been taught for years in survival schools in the military and in other places to improvise with what you have. And so one of the things we're going to do is, this is kind of a funny one, but it is using condoms. And we're going to look at about 20 different ways to use condoms in a survival situation. Now, a lot of people already have condoms in their survival kit, uh, typically as a water container. And it can hold water, uh, especially because it can pack so tightly. I mean, this is a very small package. And so that is a very important element and there are many others and we're going to take a look at them. Uh, the number one thing that you need to consider though with condoms and it's for their intended purpose. In an SHTF grid down, civil disorder, whatever kind of situation that could possibly happen, uh, you know, things are sooner or later going to get back to normal. But emergency services may not be there or may be limited. And one of the things that you need to consider and the reason these were even made is for birth control. And you know, the last thing you want to do in a, in a really bad situation is get someone pregnant or be pregnant if you're a woman uh, until you're ready. And so having a condom is really number one is just for birth control, especially in a tough situation. Now the first thing we need to look at though are condoms that are non-lubricated. Uh, that way you can use it for a multitude of different reasons. Uh, also, you need to have a really good high quality condom. Uh, this, I ordered these on eBay. They're not all that great, the quality, and you'll see in some of the, especially toward the end of this video, uh, when I do some of the funny stuff. Uh, but these were pretty thin, and from what I've seen with other brands, they work a little bit better, a little tougher, uh, especially in certain instances. So having these are small, they're fairly inexpensive, and they're easy to stack and hide away in your packs. So we're gonna look at 20 different reasons why a condom is useful in a survival situation. You're first gonna to wanna to inflate this with air. It's gonna stretch it out. This is weird. Now we're gonna use a funnel. We could probably put it right over the water, but it seems to wanna to overfill. The weight of the water should expand the condom. Once you get it to a certain point, you can tie it around a string. You could probably just tie it on itself, just like you would a balloon. These can be expanded out farther, but, but they will bust if you're not careful. Uh, take it in a sock, and because they are fragile, and that way that'll protect it. Then you can take that, put it in your pack, and it'll stay contained. If you lose your lid to your container, whether it's water, food, whatever, especially a can that doesn't have a lid in the first place, you can take this, cover it, and that'll at least keep insects and dirt out of your supplies. In a first aid situation, if you don't have gloves, and one of the things about protecting your hands, it not only protects your hands, but it protects the other person in case you have dirt on your hands. or if you're in a situation where you need to tend to yourself, you don't want to get dirt into that wound. And they're actually pretty flexible. This can be used to secure galls onto a cut. It can also be used as a tourniquet if you widen it out. The tourniquets need to be pretty wide, so make sure you keep it wide around the area that you need to, uh, to apply the tourniquet. Or if you have a severed finger, or your ears cut, or even a toe. You can tie it down and keep it from getting infected. Now, if you're in a bug out situation, you're in woods, you're crossing rivers and streams, you can actually apply this in the traditional manner. And I'm not gonna demonstrate that. <laughs> but that way you can keep yourself from getting any kind of infection that way. Especially if you're crossing dirty streams uh, and getting different kinds of infection. And if you need some fire tender, I'd open it up just a little bit. It'll take just a second to light, but once it does, 
it really burns. I don't know if friction will cause this, so be careful out there. <laughs> Make sure you don't breathe those fumes in. I'm sure they're not good for you. Of course, this can be used also to protect certain things, uh, like fire starting. Take some matches, drop them down in. That way you're going to protect those matches from getting wet if you don't have lifeboat matches. Of course, you can use fire tender of all kinds of sorts, whether it's paper, uh, cotton balls with Vaseline, whatever, and this is going to help protect it. Electronics are very susceptible to the elements, so if you're packing something, you want to go ahead and take your condom, place it around. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, expand it first with air to keep it from tearing, because it will. And I'm sure it'll still receive a signal. Placing these over your socks could also keep your feet dry. Uh, and especially if you're going through, wading through streams or things like that. And this way you can just help to at least keep those feet protected because feet are a valuable asset, uh, especially when you're on foot. These can also be used as binding material to attach things to packs that normally won't go there. It's not the prettiest thing, but it will hold. I use two of them just to go ahead and give me double security. You have a tarp with eyelets and you have some trees, you can actually use this as a tie down. And if your bobber gets stuck in a tree, you have an improvised bobber. Well, I guess blue is a bad color, <laughs> but I'm not really gonna catch a lot in the pool anyway. But it does work. Now obviously it worked as a bobber, but uh, this can also supposedly be used as a flotation device. I think you need to maybe get some sheepskin for that because these do not hold up that well. Uh, it may in the water, but they seem to pop pretty easily if you're not careful. The moral to that story is to invest in high quality condoms. Inflated, they can be used as a signaling device. Over oh, here, I'm in trouble. And they make an improvised balloon for kids. Now if it starts to rain or there's a lot of humidity in the air and you want to keep your muzzle protected, just take one of the condoms, go over the top, you're ready to go. You can shoot right through it. It will melt onto here if you don't. Another thing is you've got to use tactical black. No other color will do for your um, uh, muzzle cover. You can make an improvised slingshot with a Y piece of wood. You need something green that'll withhold and won't break on you. Uh, I took duct tape, actually this is Gorilla Tape, and took three of the condoms and tied them down. You need those, or more than one, definitely. Uh, three works a lot better. And then here I tied it with some paracord. And then of course I made this little uh, arrow and it has a little notch here to be able to grab it and aim it. I actually did it this way, it actually works a lot better. The arrow made a little limb and this thing is going to pop you if you're not careful. So. There we go. If you really got desperate, it could be used as a pillow. Ah. Okay, maybe not. So check out the survival uses for everyday items. We have a number of different videos that you can check out. Uh, this will help you again to improvise and to be smart and be able to figure out even other things. So taking everyday items and using them, not necessarily for what they're intended for, but to be able to use them for a multitude of different reasons. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Or if you have a severed me- <laughs> uh. Crap, dang it. This is fragile and uh, it can be pierced pretty easily. So what you could do is take a sock, Good gosh. Oh. That's interesting. This kind of reminds me of when I was a baby. So make sure you take that condom out of your billfold and put it in your survival kit. <laughs>